Hi, I'm Susan Krauss Kemp, and we're going to do a session on making encaustic medium. Encaustic medium is made with Dahmer resin and refined beeswax. You can get different levels of beeswax refinement, which change how white the beeswax is. I like to go fairly white, but if you get too refined, sometimes people complain that it doesn't adhere well. The ratio for Dahmer resin to encaustic beeswax is about one part Dahmer resin to eight parts beeswax. Different artists like to use different ratios and it's really up to the artist. If you go lighter with your Dahmer resin you'll have a more pliable surface and but you do run the risk of getting it too soft and your painting won't firm up. If you go with a heavier amount of the Dahmer resin you can make your uh, medium too brittle and your painting can crack. But it is something you should experiment with and make a few batches and see what you like as far as the elasticity of the beeswax and the resin. Let's get started. Measure out your wax granules. These are beeswax refined white granules. Pour your granules into a pan. You can use a skillet. This is a grill with a pan over a skillet. Both items I got at the local thrift shop for almost nothing. Melt your beeswax first at about 200 degrees until it's completely liquid. Now measure out your Dahmer resin. The ratio again is 8 parts beeswax to 1 part resin. I measured 12 ounces of beeswax so I'm going to put in 1.5 ounces of Dahmer resin. While your beeswax is melting it's a good idea to crush your Dahmer crystals down a little bit. Put them into a heavy duty Ziploc bag and break them down into a finer crystal so they'll melt a little bit faster. You can see here in the Dahmer crystals that there are some little black spots and impurities but don't worry about those we're going to get rid of those later in the process. Once your beeswax is melted go ahead and add your Dahmer resin that you've crushed to the pan. The Dahmer resin has a higher melting point than the beeswax so you can turn your temperature up about 50 more degrees but be careful and watch it because you don't want it to be smoking and you don't want to be releasing any toxins. The Dahmer will take a little while to melt. Uh, it becomes kind of sticky and mucky so you need to stir it occasionally to keep the mixture suspended together. This seems a little bit like mixing honey with water. You'll feel a very sticky gooey surface underneath but you want to keep that mixed together so that you get them both suspended evenly to create a good medium. Prepare a container for straining your Dahmer beeswax medium once it's all melted together. Find a container that you're going to want to reuse again and again that you don't need to clean out so that you can use it every time you create medium. This container is just an old plastic canister and then I've covered it with about four layers of cheesecloth which I put on with a rubber band around the lip of the canister. Once you think your Dahmer is dissolved, make sure you give a few more good stirs. You really want to make sure there aren't any sticky pieces at the bottom of your pan. Make sure everything is completely dissolved in your pan. Remember you're working with really hot fluids that can burn very easily, so be very, very careful. Take your pan or whatever you have mixed your mixture in. Use a couple of really good cloths or hot pads to pick up your pan gently and very slowly pour it into your cheesecloth. Make sure the heat's off on your burner. Don't worry about the cleanup of your pan. You just leave it, let it dry out, and then the next time you mix Dahmer, just mix it right in the same pan. Have some kind of tins ready to create your Dahmer cakes. I just like to use muffin tins. Okay, now we have our filtered Dahmer in a container, and then we can just pour that directly into the muffin cups.
let the dimer cool completely. Some people like to refrigerate it, although I don't have a separate refrigerator for non-art things. I just let mine cool. Once they're completely cool, they should pop right out of the tins. The Dahmer has dried in the cups now. You just give them a little pop on the bottom, turn them over, and they come right out. You can store them in a sealed plastic bag, and when you're ready to use them, just put them into a cup on your palette, and they'll melt, and you can mix them with your other colors.